Okay, Canadian wrench here again. Back on the Henry J. You know something different? Yes, those rims. That's what I was going to run. Uh, obviously small in the front. I think the tires are the wrong size. To me, it seems like it doesn't take up enough of the wheel uh, space. I don't know. Let it grow on me. Let's see. The back, this is what I wanted. Looks great until you get up close. And you can see there's a little interference fit there. And it's right against the tire there. So much so that it's causing that gap here. So that's how much it's spaced out the fender, the rear fender, because of that tire. We have several options here. Smaller tire could move the whole wheel back. So in other words, move the body forward. Or we could trim a little bit off here. And I'd hate to cut too much because I like all this uh, style. I don't want to cut too much of that off, but I understand that I got to cut a little bit. And I guess there are other option is another set of fenders. So I just pop the rear fender back off. Um, that's the rear tire. That's what I planned on, something like that. I think it uh, fills out nicely. Provide the right amount of traction that I might need. All right, just for perspective, I have this old fender that's been sitting around. It's pretty roached out. It'll never be used, but good for a mock-up. Someone has uh, cut away a little bit too much, I would think. So they cut away something like that. And that's how it looks now. I think we can do a tidier job. It gives you an idea of the height and all that. So we're below this body line here. Just. And that's tight up against the body. So, that's an early set of fenders I have. But like I said, this one's pretty toast. See this other car in the background, the Gazelle. Uh, I made a video about it. I made a couple. Got it running. Check it out. There's video on that M152, that military vehicle in the back, and also on Big Red there. So, if you got nothing to do, check those out. So, on getting the body straight and lined up with the frame, there's a lot of stuff you got to take into consideration. One's where the engine's going to sit. So, you can see I've got the smallest amount of clearance there, because your engine does move. You don't want it smacking on the firewall. But there is a smallest of gaps in there. And as you can see, I've got the engine all the way forward there. And those bolts in the uh, slots right there. So way over here. Those bolts, they're slid all the way forward. So that engine can't go any more forward. Again, we've got room back in here. Got more room on this side on, than on the other side. And then we can, there's ways of shortening all this stuff up here. So I'm not too worried about that clearance and the rad. That'll be fairly simple. Now the only other thing is the distributor and I just plunk that over the plug that I have in there and just want to see where it would go and it's not quite enough room. So we have options what we can do there too. So we can see that the uh, distributor is not going to quite fit or maybe just fits. Um, so a couple options. Put a smaller distributor. This is a bigger cap on for GM and get the smaller uh, 
smaller cap, points one. Uh, doesn't mean it has to be points, it could be HEI. Or the other thing we could do is maybe put a little relief in that uh, firewall, a little indentation. Just gives a little more room. Or if you want a big room, we could uh, cut it out and put a pocket in there. And I'm trying not to cut up too much of the body. Going back inside, what I did is going down into here, that body mount, so the one, there's where the seat bolts, there's a body mount here. Drop a bolt through it, same on the other side. I measured the distance, because that's very close to the frame. The frame is about where that white chalk line is. Actually, no, it's even closer, it's about here. Um, because I'm measuring about five eighths of an inch from the frame to this bolt. And same on the other side. And that's how I centered the body left and right on the frame. Now, if I go to the back, you can see I measured from here to here, and that'll line up this mount. And then the next one at the back. We have a distance between here and the floor. There it's gonna be replaced, obviously. Um, so I got a piece of three inch tube to go right in here. And it's gonna span the cross, span right across the trunk there and act as a support. Now I know there's support right there, but I couldn't think of a better way to do those mounts. All right, so there's the very front body. So we're at the firewall, the firewall's right here. Um, we're gonna be built, we gotta make a mount to weld to here and to nicely match up flatly to this body mount. And this is gonna be our, our mount here. So I gotta make two of those, one for each side. And then also, looking back here, it's partially on that rotten tubing, tubing tape, box deal, or whatever you wanna call it. So, uh, we're gonna replace this piece, but I think what I'll do is uh, go a bit wider and that'll sit flat on the whole mount. Right now, only half of it's on the mount. Here's a better perspective. So you can see, when I said half, I should have said third of that body is on the mount. So what we'll do oops, is we're going to replace um, that right there, this piece of steel, and we're gonna enlarge it to go to here. So now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off this gate valve. Uh, I had it off before, so it'll come off nice and easy. Boom, there we go. I set that there. Now, what I'm gonna put there, or see if it'll go there, is that. Because we want brakes, right? Nice and easy. So, it looks like, Looks like it's gonna fit quite nicely. Here's that in all the way, obviously. I'm only using one hand, but uh, looks like it'll sit there quite nicely. Enough clearance around everything. Very nice. So once that goes through the firewall, we'll need a brake pedal, which I have here. Been saving it for some reason for years. And this is the reason. I uh, emerged in one of those holes, and now that'll just bolt up to there. And I checked um, on the inside, underneath the dash, everything fits, except for that top tab there. This one here has got to go. But I think we can do that. We can maybe nip it off so it looks very neat. And there we go, we got a brake pedal. 
So last night I put this assembly in the vise and uh, just to check out how this rod will fit into the brake pedal. And I uh, measured, I removed this boot here and measured what length I need. So I need four and three quarters. I write it on so I don't have to measure it again. And that's a standard three eighths hole. And that three eighths hole will go onto there. go but what I need is the right length rod so I have to release this rod because it's held in by the little clips on the inside we release this rod and we'll get an adjustable one that has the this range in here four and three quarters so maybe a quarter inch each way I'm sure they make that I've, I've seen it somewhere on the internet course all right then that is all the brakes set up I'm using all the original s10 brakes uh, I can go more heavy duty if I want I think all G bodies are the same all right so I know I jumped around a little bit on this video from uh, body mounts to distributor to brakes but uh, it's all part of the mock-up. You gotta figure out what you're gonna put where. Um, you gotta set it up. You gotta figure out what you're gonna do. All right, tune in again. There'll be another video coming.